I'm Lynn, and today I want to share with you a topic that I'm greatly fascinated with. That is Ti Pao or Cheng Sam. Cheng Sam is a form-fitting dress with distinctive Chinese features. And my first encounter with the dress was when I was in grade school. It was a bright red dress like this that had golden dragons printed all over it. I wore it for my birthday and Chinese New Year's until I grew out of it. Whenever I had it on, I felt extremely proud and special. Now, this traditional garment is mostly reserved for weddings or anniversaries, but a Beijing designer is bringing it back to our daily lives. So, without further ado, let's meet this designer. My name is Wang Xiaorou. I'm the Museum X Xiaorou Museum's co-founder, and designer. We have many people who talk about the dress and think it's old. 呃、uh, ，我得到了一定的年龄，我才能去撑得住旗袍的所谓的优雅感。在我看来，它就是一个有一点领子的连衣裙，只是它比较合身。The modern cipao is a variation of loose-fitting robes worn by women of the Manchu nobility who ruled China during the Qing Dynasty from the mid 1600s to 1912. But it wasn't until the 1920s that the garment evolved into the form most recognized today. Influenced by Western fashion, designers in Shanghai reformed the Manchu dress with cuts to highlight the female figure. In the age when conservative styles were the norm, this iconic dress set new fashion standards. But as time progressed, Cipao fell out of favor and was replaced with more casual clothing. 包括到现在，很多人会觉得旗袍就是，呃，服务员，然后或者迎宾小姐，它是一个很特定的场合下才可以穿着的衣服。The common perception of cipao is that it's too dressy, but for Xiao Rou, this dress is a statement piece which gives her confidence and strength. 那个时候在巴黎的联合国教科文工作，然后会出席很多很大型的活动。那个时候没有自己能够穿的让自己很有自信的衣服，所以就开始尝试自己给自己做衣服。然后做着做着，就有很多人会问我的衣服是哪儿哪儿买的，谁做的，然后我就会告诉他们是我自己做的。然后他们就会要求我帮他们也做一件，然后慢慢的他们穿出去就也会有很多朋友问，然后一传十十传百就变成了今天我的事业。To refashion Qi Pao and making it relevant to our daily lives, Xiao Rou uses contemporary materials, bold prints, and stylish cuts for her designs. 我会用很多特别。大家认为不太适合做旗袍，或者说它并不是很旗袍的料子来去做旗袍。比如说我身上这种特别现代、很波普的扑克牌的元素，然后会用一些抽象的现代艺术作品，然后会用一些 Art Deco 的元素。他们在大众的认知里，它都不是属于做旗袍的料子。And these are the gorgeous materials out of which Xiao Rou makes her dresses. But with so many drawers, where should we start? 一般是这样，我会询问姑娘们大概想要一个什么样的场合穿。比如说，你是希望它比较隆重，还是希望能够日常在街头上可以穿？嗯啊，或者你比较喜欢什么颜色、什么系列的花型？我会根据每个姑娘的身材特点，还有她们的气质特点，还有她们想要穿着她的场合来推荐不同的面料给她们上身试。我觉得我可能是更多希望可以日常穿，然后比较俏皮一点、活泼一点。比如像这个抽屉，它全都是黑白色， oh. 但其实并不是黑白色就只能特别的 professional。明白。比如说像这这块料子，它虽然是个黑白，但是它是一个很可爱的，哦、wow. ，奇奇怪怪、可可爱爱的一块面料，是有漫画的图案在上面。对，它是一个速写画。啊，它是欧洲的一些建筑，还有一些呃，在拍照的游客就很很街头的感觉。是，它不，它是那种可以穿运动鞋穿的旗袍啊。我这个还蛮酷的，我觉得真的打破了传统那种对旗袍的印象。我们把它做成旗袍之后的那种冲撞感，那种 contrast 会给人一个非常强烈的冲击力。我还蛮期待它的成衣会是什么样子的。嗯
think this is definitely my favorite dress of the year. I like the fact that it has this traditional Changsan color to it, but the cut over here and the patterns is definitely modern. So I think it does a great job in capturing my personality. And to add more personality to the piece, Xiao Rou wrapped a thick waist belt on me, giving the super funky dress even more visual interest. Like Xiao Rou said, clothing is an extension of our personality, but sometimes we can be quite conscious of our body image, and this body-hugging dress may not necessarily be the first choice of attire for many women. So I asked Xiao Rou how she breaks the stigma. Gaoyang特别深刻的是有一个微胖的姑娘,她可能不属于传统意义上的美女的身材,她在我这定完旗袍站在我的十一镜前面的时候,她真的就哭了,她说小二姐你知道吗,我以前一直不敢直视镜子